All right, so welcome back to the channel, everybody. Um, this is U.S. Open Week, so what we are going to be doing uh, probably for the next three videos that you're going to see on the channel is I'm going to play through the U.S. Open. Um, if you haven't noticed, they have updated the uh, Simulator Golf Tour to where, you know, a few weeks ago, you actually get more on the auto putt side. There's actual a toggle switch, and uh, you can kind of select between the original or the auto putt. And so when they did that update, basically they, they brought several of the tours over from the original side to the auto putt side. So now you're kind of playing, you can play kind of both. And, and since we have been demoing out the MLM2 Pro with the PC Bluetooth connector and GS Pro, so we are going to basically play the US Open um, just like most majors on, on the Simulator Golf Tour though, it is three rounds. So in this video, we're going to play round one, and then the following videos you'll see round two and round three in the next couple of days. All right, so if we go into tournaments right here, you can kind of see uh, the one I registered for. Uh, basically, it is the Pro Auto Putt Tour, uh, summer 2024. We are at Pinehurst number two, and this is going to be play round one. So let's take a quick look at the settings for round one. Uh, basically, we're playing from the white tee, so I think that's a lot more generous than playing the tips tour or the pro tour on the other side. Uh, we've got Friday pins since round one. Uh, putting's auto-fixed uh, for us. Elevations at 560 feet, which is a little less than what I play at normally here locally. Uh, stem set at 12. we got putting set to normal. Fairway firmness and green firmness is set to normal, and wind is calm. So I imagine it's probably going to get a little bit harder in round two and round three. Um, but hopefully we can we can score pretty decent in round one to get off to a good start All right, and so just like in all the other videos We've got the device set up at the minimum spec So we are 14 and a half feet from the MLM 2 Pro laser measured up to the impact screen And then from down here where the red T is on the floor That is laser measured eight feet to the impact screen giving us basically eight feet of ball flight from where we're hitting from today Go ahead and quickly just kind of take a look at, at the flyover um, As we can see the the fairway kind of narrows as you get down there, probably closer to the driver landing zone, because if you've been watching the, the Open this week, a lot of people are hitting basically long irons or, or hybrids off of the tee. So we're going to aim down the middle of the fairway, basically, in that small landing spot, and hopefully hit a pretty decent one here to start off with. That was off the toe. Not good. Ooh, stay out of the forest. All right, so not a great first effort off the tee. We've got about 109 yards left coming out of the deep rough. Probably going to hit 50 degree here and just see if we can kind of get something kind of towards the middle of the green. That's a little flat, probably going to be a little short. All right, so at least if you're not familiar with how the auto putt works, uh, basically the inner circle uh, is going to basically add one shot. Uh, the middle ring is going to give you two plus shots, and then you really want to kind of stay away from outside of the auto two putt anywhere else on the green. It's going to give you an auto three complete. And so playing auto putt, you kind of play the course just a little bit differently because of that. Um, you don't want to be hitting into areas where you can leave yourself on the green and get that auto three complete. So uh, sometimes it's best to leave yourself short or sometimes off of the green uh, if you're if you're going to land in one of those zones. So, all right, so 21 yards left. See if we can't throw this up there, get this four, and get out of here. So finish that pretty well as far as par. Let's kind of take a look at hole two here. There's the flyover. We've got kind of another par four. Um, again, kind of a narrow fairway, kind of in the landing zone for driver. Um, and then all of these greens kind of slope away from the middle. So we're going to be aiming at a lot of middle greens today. Uh, and this pin's kind of in the middle of this one. All right, so didn't hit driver very well in the first hole. We're going to try that again here. Um, maybe as we go through the round or maybe even like in rounds two and three, I might switch to hitting long irons and, and kind of play more, kind of more fairways and greens. But... We're going to give the driver a shot today. Terrible slice. Oh, we are in jail. All right, so another end drive on, on hole two here. So we're just going to take our medicine and try to get this back out in the fairway if we can. Just gonna try to hit a little low five iron and get it back out in the fairway here. All 
71 yards, uh, a little bit up the hill. So, see if we can get it in that auto one complete zone and get out of here with another par. Gonna have to spin, spin, mm, a little too far. All right, so we're on to hole three. Um, kind of a repeat of the first two holes here. Uh, pretty much kind of the fairway narrows as you get further down there. Uh, and then we've got a pin, since it's Friday's pins, uh, that's, that's kind of in the middle of the green today. So, all right, hopefully I can work out this driver thing. Uh, didn't take too many warm-up swings, but I felt like I hit a few pretty good warming up, so I don't know where all this crap's coming from. At least we finally found a fairway. All right, so 47 yards. Uh, I got to carry this bunker here. See what we can do. A little long. Hopefully it comes back a little bit. Whoa, ball. All right, so at least we got a par. We're still one over through three, headed to number four. Let's take a quick look at four, fly over. Um, kind of the same thing as the first three holes. We've kind of got a par four here, or you're just trying to get it in the fairway, get it out there and give you, you know, something low, you know, seven, eight, nine, or wedge into the screen. Hopefully we've worked out our driver demons here on that last hole, and we can just get a little bit better contact on this one. Oh, pulled it. I was kind of hoping for a pull fade there. Just a straight pull. All right, so kind of in trouble in jail here. Uh, second shot on number four. Going to try to take an eight iron. We're about 140 out in the deep rough. Uh, Going to try to see if I can't draw this around the tree a little bit and maybe get it somewhere on the green here. Whoa, ball. Stay in the two-putt. Stay in the two-putt. Oh, come back. And that's kind of what sucks about two-putt, or not two-putt. That's kind of what sucks about auto-putt. Um, I feel like I executed kind of the shot that, that I wanted to, but just because I leaked out of the auto-two-complete zone, I ended up getting penalized because I probably would have actually probably two-putted from there. All right, so moving on to hole number five here. We've, we've got two pars and two bogeys so far. So we're two over through four. This is our first par five. But kind of laid out just like the par fours. Uh, we got a little dog leg to the left here at the end. Um, and that pin is kind of friendly towards the middle of the green since Friday pins right now on day one. All right, so hopefully get us another fairway finder. Wasn't the greatest of contact. All right, so again, the, the, the struggle with the driver continues. Uh, we're just gonna try to hit a five iron, advance it uh, as far as we can, and then maybe give ourselves kind of more of a lob wedge uh, into the screen here. A little out on the toe, hopefully. Nope, we're not gonna be back in the fairway. All right, so slope is three and a half degrees up and, and 4.6 degrees left. So it's going to come out a little high and a little left. So I'm going to try to get this 50 degree there, even though we're coming out of the deep rough here. I'm still struggling here. Let's just try to get up and down, get out of here with a par on this. Par five here. I'm 
Wow, this might run all the way off the green. There it goes. Welcome to the U.S. Open at Pinehurst. All right, let's see if we can get out of this, this friggin' bunker here. Stop. All right, first double bogey of the round. Uh, probably will not be the last though, so we'll see. So we got a first par three here, playing about 171 yards. Pin is on the front. All right, let's see if we can cut a little bit off of this seven iron and keep and cut it against the wind a little bit here. Uh, too much. Cut it too much. Mm, and the bunker. All right, so we're up the hill, 12 yards. Let's see if we can just splash this out of here. Oh well. I don't think it's gonna stop. Mm, there it goes. <laughs> and it's gonna finish right outside. Oh. Stayed on the line. Got lucky with the one putt there. All right, so not off to a great start. We are six holes in, and we are five over. So we got a little bit of a dogly right here, hole number seven. Oh, well. All right, so basically almost found another fairway, luckily. All right, so we got 63 and a half yards. Uh, looks like it slopes back to front on this green. Try to hit something maybe around 58 to 60 yards carry here. And I hit it too far. Too much. Spin. All right, so no birdie, but we did at least make par. Uh, moving on hole eight here, still five over. Pretty straightforward. Um, just kind of like most of the other holes here, kind of narrows in the fairway where your typical driver landing zone is. And it looks like this pin is kind of tucked on the front here, so we might have to pay attention to kind of that false front. So hopefully we can hit another drive just like on the last hole. Whoa, well, kick left. Give me a good bounce. Thank you. Gonna aim out to the right just a little bit since we are kind of got a, a slope that's 2.1 degrees to the left on us. And then I'm gonna try to hit this 54 degree, uh, about 110, probably 112. A little fat. Yeah, lost some distance there. So hopefully we get enough. Stay there. Okay. All right. Did not realize that hole was a par five, actually. And so uh, always happy to get a happy surprise of an eagle. That's great. All right. So we got a short par four here, playing about 148. Um, looks like we're going to have to be careful of going too deep and too short. Green's not all that deep. Uh, we're 148, downhill five. Uh, really no wind. Um, so I'm going to try to hit a nine. A little thin on the contact. Fade for me, please. Get up. Get up there. Do not come off. This is when we got to aim for middle of the green. All right. See if we can just get it 
up the slope here, get it in the auto one putt, and get out of here with a par. Kick right. Whoa ball. All right. It's not a birdie, but I'll take a par. So now we're moving on to number 10. This is, I'm paying attention this time, this is a par 5. Um, so pretty wide. Hopefully we can keep the driver in the fairway on this. And then uh, we'll kind of take a look to see where they've got the pin. It looks like it's going to be on the front. No, kind of in the middle. All right, so again, this is probably another one just aimed towards the middle of the green, and hopefully we can get it to, to stay on that tier. All right, hopefully the luck continues here with the driver. Felt pretty good. A little fade to it. Come on. Going in the native grass. Dang it, probably gonna try to just ease up on a seven iron. Hopefully hit a little cut. Come on, get up there. Go ball, go. Oh. Almost another eagle, but hey, I'll take birdie. We're getting that scorecard down, so we were plus five, now we're, we're back to plus two. Uh, I'd love to see us get under par before we, we end this first round. All right, so hole 11, par four. You know, about 375, 380 yards. Um, hopefully hit a little cut off the tee in the fairway. And then we've got a pin that looks to be located kind of close to the front again. So we'll probably aim towards the middle and hopefully be able to stand that one autocomplete. Good drive and a wedge. Ah, it's off the toe. It might be right. Get through there. All right, so I think I can go underneath the first tree and probably get by the next one. Um, we're coming out of the deep rough at 102 yards, so we're going to hit a 54, and hopefully we get a good result. A little fat. Probably going to definitely come up short. Ooh. Did not expect that. Okay. All right, so... Since we hit the tree, I'm going to try to go a little bit lower trajectory with a 9. Just take some off of it and see if I can't kind of just shape it around that tree and, and kind of get us on the green, hopefully. Wow. Usually have better luck getting through the forest than this. All right, so now we need to get this close. 61 yards, coming out of the deep rough. I uh, got 58 in hand, a little bit up the hill. A little bit longer. But I think it would have worked out had I not pulled it left. Hoping it doesn't roll off the green, but it looks like it's going to. No, nope, it stopped. Okay. All right, like I said earlier, it wasn't probably going to be the only double bogey, so unfortunately we double bogeyed. 11, moving on to 12, another par 4, 360 yards, uh, kind of a more generous landing area, I would say, for driver here um, than what we usually see. And then the pin looks to be, you know, in the middle of the green, so hopefully we can land on that, that, that middle area and, and keep it in that one autocomplete for birdie. It's going to work out pretty well, just a slight fade. Fifty-eight yards up the hill. I'm gonna try to land this probably somewhere around fifty-five, fifty-four. Eh, might be short. Go ball. Get up there. Wow. All right. I almost lucked into another eagle there. Uh, but definitely take that. All right, so we're back to plus three after 12. We're heading in 13. Um, let's take a look. It's going to be a short par four. Um, landing zone in the fairway there is going to be kind of small for the driver, but even if we go into the sand, I don't think that'll be that big of an issue. Pin looks to be kind of in the middle part, middle right, so hopefully another birdie opportunity here.
Come on. Be good. Get left. All right, hopefully just be in the sand. All right, so we're a little unlucky here. Um, we're not in the sand, we're in the deep rough, as it calls it. So it's gonna be more of a, that's gonna be more of a, a yardage penalty than the sand would be, and we can't really spin it um, very well out of the deep rough as opposed to the sand. Hold it a little bit. So that wasn't even close to getting there um, so I might have to adjust for my my deep rough calculation a little bit all right so we got 17 yards left up the hill so hopefully we can get this up there and stop it and still get out of here with a par too far dang it <sighs> all right gave a stroke back on 13 headed to 14 now Take a look real quick. Kind of like most par fours here, uh, fairway landing area might be a little bit wider uh, in the driver landing zone. And then the pin, like uh, like most of the pins today in this round have been kind of towards the middle. So hopefully we can get, get a stroke back. Too much, too much cut. All right, so kind of in jail in the deep rough here. Uh, we've got 150 left. Gonna try to hit uh, an eight iron and see if we can get there. Might come up a little bit short out of this rough though. Kind of felt like I hit that one kind of straight. I don't think I hit it left like that, but. Oh well, another tree coming out of the deep rough from 130 yards. Gonna try to hit a nine iron. Get off the green. Get off the green. Ugh. And this is the troublesome thing. Like I said, I'm playing auto putt. You barely sneak onto the green sometimes, and it just you. You'd prefer to be off of it because I could probably chip and get close enough for an auto one. We got a par three again. Centrally located, pin centrally located there. All right, 172, a little downhill. Try to take a little bit off this seven iron. Yeah, maybe too much off. I kind of got that fat. That's terrible. Might get lucky. Bounce and roll. Go ball. Come on. Will it stay? Doesn't look like it. Gonna be chipping. There it goes. All right. Up and down, save this par. All right, I'll take par and get out of here. All right, so we're going to have to drive over water here. Um, looks like the fairway's wide enough to worry about. And then pan's kind of centrally located, so maybe we can get a couple shots back here. Par 5 number 16, kind of a short par 5. Maybe we can get lucky and get an eagle here and get some strokes back. A little low on the face, but I think I think it should work out. Get in the fairway. Kick right. Kick right. Come on. All right, so we got 193 left. A little bit up the hill. Another green that slopes from back to front here. Um, probably going to hit six iron, and hopefully we can just get something in the middle of the green. It's going to be thin and probably right. Yeah. That was not good contact. Coming out of the sand, 27 and a half yards up the hill. It says a par five, so hopefully we can get this up and down and, and get us a birdie. All 
Now that was not a very good effort. And probably will not stay on the green. Hmm. All right, hopefully you just get up and down, save the par. Might be too hard. Four ball. All right, so it's not a birdie, but at least at least we're not adding strokes at this point. All right, so going into 17, uh, par three. You kind of got a pin that's located here, uh, pretty much in the center again. So it plays 164 downhill with a little bit of breeze behind us. Try to hit an 8-iron and just kind of put this in the middle of the green. Mm. Come on. Whoa, ball. All right, not a great shot, but decent shot. Get out of there with the par. So we finally made it at 18. We got a short par 4 here. Take a look at the flyover. Um, basically, kind of like a lot of the par fours we've played today. Uh, you know, narrow fairway. And then pin position on this hole looks to be kind of um, towards the middle of the front. So we'll probably have to definitely aim towards the middle of the green. All right, felt like pretty good contact. Not going to stay in the fairway, though. Hopefully it stays in the sand and not the deep rough. All right, 76 yards up the hill. Going to carry, hopefully carry this with a field of about 80. And then since it's coming out of the sand, it, we should get some spin on it. And it might be a little short. Go ball. Yep. Another up and down for par. Get it started here. Wow. All right. Well, that sucks. Uh, I was pretty sure I carried that a little bit further than in game 1.9. I feel like that should have been more like a three and a half to four yard carry, but maybe just because of the slope and going up that hill a little bit further this time. Whoa, ball. All right, so that's going to do it for round one. Um, not a very good effort, obviously. Uh, after the, the start that we had, kind of battled back a little bit there. Um, you know, had some red numbers there in the middle of the round, but then kind of like let that slip away and let that go uh, in those last four or five holes with a couple doubles. So um, hopefully in round two, we can eliminate some of those bigger numbers because we've got at least four doubles on the card. So I'd like to at least get rid of those and get something closer to even par. You guys, don't forget to like this video if you like this kind of content and subscribe to the channel if you're not already subscribed. I want to thank you all again for watching the video. Round two is coming up next. Stay tuned.